That's great. Yes, good boy Jim is apparently watching and wants to come in. Uh, Jim, Jim, come hang out with yes, us. Come in. The door is open. How could he resist a high quality <laughs> clock tower SNES stream? Just keep burying people. Yes, just this is just not going to stop. Now we're going to become a twenty-four hour baked Alaska channel. We are we are doing twenty-four hour ops, just not on Discord. We're just going to do them on YouTube fucking shows. Is he the new Chris Chan? We're going to know every facet of his life. <laughs> Oh, hey, man. I think one of the funniest things that ever happened oh, to Chris Chan was when somebody baited him into thinking they were a girl, and he sent that Sonic Chew medallion. And they just sent him back a video of all the different ways they're destroying it. Yeah, they, they put it in the pickle jar and then he shoved it up his ass. Although I do think I just heard Jim say hello and you just totally ignored him. What's up, Jim? That, that, oh, that, hello, that's Jim. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I like the one with the, uh, what was the fucking kid's name? Blue 14 or whatever it was, the one oh. that got him to cut the medallion up and shove it up his ass? Yeah, the one that pretended to be a girl. Yeah, that was some good shit. Did you see today somebody paid him $150 to look two pictures of penises he drew on his wall? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I saw somebody sent me a fucking video on Twitter of some dude. I couldn't tell it was Christian. It was somebody just licking cocks on a wall, and I was like, what the fuck is this? You didn't notice the Sonichu barbs on the biggest dick? <laughs> Although I guess it could be a Rosichu dick. He did say that she's a man now. Man, there you go. Oh, Jesus. What was going on in that stream, Jim? You're being like so, like laid back. I don't know. I, I'm just. I, I'm. I, I'm. I, I think I'm burnt out. I don't know. I can't. These dude. People, I kept man. going. Like, can somebody get me on there so I can talk to this retard? He's just lying out of his fucking teeth. Like, he's like, oh, I don't believe you, dude. He said right in front of him, multiple times, that like I think he said it like 17 times. They got it different clips of him where he's like um you know any woman that has sex with her student no matter what age they are they're doing the community a service and they should be given a salary <laughs> and a raise <laughs> how fucking dry is his dick that that's that's the way he thinks and he was like openly saying that people are like are you serious he's like yeah i'm fucking serious that totally is what i want and no one said anything I, I didn't get the whole, like, Bake kept going on about, well, last night he was going on about, uh, oh, you're getting a hold of my manager, um, and, and like, uh, having people call him, which, which I didn't do, and then today he's like, you're doxing this guy, you're doxing this guy. Yeah, that was bullshit. Like, the guy's fucking face is on the cover of that book in, like, six different puzzle pieces. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's so undercover, man. I got the, uh, I got the audio book, and I was listening to it, and just cracking up. Oh, I, I've got to ask. I hate to do this, but I'm not echoing him. I like that stream no, fucked me up. Now I think I echo in every <laughs> fucking stream. Oh, no, you're good. At least I, I don't know. Yeah, any problems with the stream will be due to my incompetence. Okay. Hey, do you guys want to see like... me get killed by this bird real quick? You can yeah, fucking do it. Let's see it. get killed by a goddamn parrot. I let my niece play this game because it's the only game I have with a girl that's not some perverted Japanese thing. <laughs> and she gets killed by little birds and little puppet puppets. You, you can't hear it. When you come on their stream and people are just like, who the hell is Jim? <laughs> yeah, because then it's a normal conversation. <laughs> they know who I am, but not you. That's how backwards it is. <laughs> no, that, yeah, because then it's just a laid back conversation. And there's no weirdness. It's just a, yeah, whatever. Just talk shit kind of thing. Yeah. Hey, Jim, yeah, I, uh, real quick. I feel bad for you, man. Yeah. That, that Aaron girl, would you, uh, would you give her a batch? I wouldn't touch that fucking one, no. <laughs> You, but you mean on more like an existential level, like her as a, a being that exists disgusts you. No, I mean as a human being, if I <laughs> fucking met her in person, I'd be like, get the fuck away from me. Like, she, she bakes life's imploding and this bitch is just spotlight hop, or, you know, loving every second of it. And now at the end of the stream, he's like, oh, Aaron, come back on my stream. Like She just said, nope. Fuck it. Wow. Man. I was laughing so hard. He was, he was just so happy about this fucking sh Shiite bitch, and she's just like shitting all over this Aaron girl. And he says absolutely nothing. He walks away in his little Cobra Kai gold fucking jacket, and <laughs> he looks like a douchebag. He, he looked like he was going to be like in the Bollywood version of Drive. Oh, by the way, the yeah. manly music is playing, so keep an eye out, chat, okay? He had nothing to say the entire time when she shit. He just walks away. And then, like, he comes back and he's just like, Oh, she made a joke about Jews? What? Well, I guess I'm gonna throw her under the bus, too, because I have no fucking spine, because I'm a little fucking cock. 
Uh, yeah, I probably could have worded it better, man. But I just, I don't like, I, I can't stand the flip flopping shit. Like, I, I'm all for fucking with people online and stuff, it but it's so fucking gay. I, I like consistency. I don't give a shit. You could be the most left leaning fucking lip shit. I don't care, or the most right leaning fucking. You could be straight up 1488, but at least just be consistent with it. Don't just flip around whatever you know wave you can ride to get money. It pisses me off. Yeah, he was literally telling people like uh, that people stopped him in the streets. <laughs> he has 12,000 okay. subs. Nobody's stopping him in the streets besides the police just to ask why he's standing across the street. When well, they're stopping him, he's wearing hate speech on a university campus and he starts quoting nautical law. Oh, yeah, that fucking stuff with the rallies about how much he does, yeah. Yeah, wait, how does that line up with that fucking music video he released where he's sucking cop dick and then he's screaming at the cop about fucking maritime law in a stream a fucking year later? Dude, he's a retard. Like, wait, what does sucking dick have to do with maritime law? I don't. Well, know. Oh, you did, were in the Air Force, not the Navy, so maybe you wouldn't get it. <laughs> you, you, you have to see the uh, the baked Alaska. What is the name of the fucking rap he does? I love the police. It, it's literally called "I Love the Police," isn't it? It's a three minute rap video where he's he's got an American flag draped over himself and he's singing in front of a, co a cop car about how he loves the police. I don't think he knows like. I would just love if the cop didn't understand what he was doing and just shot him right in the middle of his stupid fucking <laughs> just video. The fucking head. Aerated his fucking lungs. Well, he's white. He's not black. They're not gonna do that. Well, yeah, that's why it was so weird watching him freak out. Like he, he you know, I love the police. I love the police. But then the cop stops and he's like, "Can I see some ID? Because you know, you're running around campus calling, uh, telling girls you're gonna rape them." And he's like, "I don't have to do that under maritime law." And he's just going off on him. Dude, what the hell was he talking about? He was fighting Antifa last night. I saw the pictures. It looked like he, he was just being bullied by black women on the street. I, I didn't even watch it. Are you talking about when he was in Charlottesville and he faked getting maced? I think the funniest part about that Charlottesville thing was that one Antifa girl that claimed that she was like, that she just, she was standing there and somebody just ran up and punched her. And you just watch her like run up and try to attack this dude from behind and he just punches her right in the face. No, no, that was the Battle of Berkeley because that was Nathan D'Amigo of Identity Europa. Was it? They, I get the one Yeah, the girl kids. with the dreadlocks who did the porn. Was it? Was that the one that asked for the money? She they all the ask for money. How is that? Yeah, that's like a common thing, isn't it? I, I mean, I know I'm a faggot. I've got a Patreon, but I mean, that's that's become the standard fucking practice, hasn't it? Is to fucking beg for money every second. Well, YouTube uh, <laughs> doesn't really make it easy to make money on their shitty platform anymore. This yeah, is my first ever it. stream, and it's demonetized. I'm already in the naughty boy corner. Well, that's because, you know, Twitter and YouTube, they're all best friends with Google, and Brianna Wu probably threw one of <laughs> banana tentacles into oh, fucking YouTube. Yeah, for the audience who d doesn't know, um, my Twitter got deleted today because I tweeted pictures of Brianna Wu to Brianna Wu. <laughs> Must have scared them because they weren't doctored ones like he usually looks at. And now You're I'm IP man. Is it an edited or post-op? Uh, no, he still has his dingus. <laughs> his giant throbbing <laughs> cock is nice and fucking present yeah, in the image. His daddy, Larry Flint, uh, did not opt for the uh, extra surgery. He likes it kinkier that way. That's not actually Larry Flint's kid, is it? Uh, I think it's either his son or his nephew, uh, due to many reasons. But uh, my favorite is that when Brianna Wu brags about having gotten $200,000 to start his, you know, quote-unquote animation studio, it coincides exactly with the time Larry Flint's children and... Uh, Nieces and nephews got two hundred thousand dollars each, because he uh, was molesting them. Apparently, I feel I, like if I was getting molested, I'd want more money than that. Yeah, but he's crippled, so it was limp. You know, he just kind of rubbed it on their faces, I guess. That's probably what Brianna would what drove Brianna Wu to become Brianna. He kept making her be a little sissy girl. Yeah, I haven't even been following his uh, whole political thing. Like, is, is is Brianna still doing that, or did they fucking get common sense and stop? He's collecting money, but he's not on the ballot. <laughs> it's a new scam? That's oh, great. yeah, I forgot he was running for office. What the fuck? Yeah, in my home state. Oh, hey, Spectre. How you doing? How's it going? I, I, I was just giving this and like, hey, come on here. Is Baked on here? No. Oh, man, waste of time. We're just talking shit on Baked. Cause he's, he, is he live streaming? Oh yeah, he should be live streaming now. It's uh... yeah, he's live streaming. Oh, you gotta. Live streaming that. What the fuck? Don't, 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 don't stream Stepshin him. Otherwise, he'll send his goon squad over to like ruin well, we your. We want to raid his chat. Fuck, man. Let's get, let's get our people in there. And cause I, Zoom's got like a hundred things fucking ready to roast him with. 
Oh, it was, it was it was great last night because Ralph Retort is like streamceptioning him. He literally sends his goons to Ralph's Discord to take it down, and then it's like Andy's like everybody raid, everybody raid Bake's uh Bake stream, and Bake's like don't do that. No, Bake's not live yet. Bake's not live yet. You are like little baby. You 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 have one stream says we were streamcepting Ralph Retort streamcepting Baked Alaska. We don't fuck around. Well, I'm like, uh, like, I I'll fully admit, I, I was watching Ralph's thing because I love Ralph, and like he's like, you know, I'm and Baked is like, I'm there fighting for this country in his little <laughs> stolen valor camo fucking T-shirt. There. Thank you, thank you. And, Nobody else was calling that out. That dude's never fucking served. He shouldn't be wearing OCP. That's well, fucking no. Bullshit. That that's that's the thing. It's like. And I'm, I'm sitting there triggered as fuck. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I I I put the uniform on and shit, and I see stuff like that. In fact, I had to deliver the death notice to the family of one of my Marines because they were recently killed over in fucking. I can't. I'm not gonna say fuck where yeah. they were. They were killed. And I hear shit like this, and I'm like, no, you motherfucker. You're a beta man. You're a bibbity bobbity bitch. You're a fucking beta man. You just shit. call him a bibbity bobbity bitch. <laughs> I did. I called him that. I even is that a that magical in your spell? Life. What the fuck? It is. It is now. It, 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 it's how you turn into a, uh, pumpkin? a beta male into a further beta male. And I'm like, you're a LARPing little fuck. You are no better than anti fuck. Okay, all, all the all this shit about you're fighting for the country? No, motherfucker. Walk your fat ass down to the fucking recruiter. Do a four-year stint. You know, you'll lose the fucking weight, believe me. And then you can come out with a little bit of fucking self-esteem and you'll be so much better. And then you can say you fought for the fucking country. Or at least you put the uniform on. But well, he's such a druggie, no one would take him at this point. What's he, he can't even lie to the recruiter and say, oh yeah, I just smoked weed a few times. Cause that dude's on stream doing drugs constantly. Let's be real here. We saw him. Oh, fucking the fucking the only the, the only thing he's been fighting against is diabetes. Hoping he doesn't <laughs> He's not fighting. Well, he is named after a kind of ice cream cake, isn't he? Is that what that is? Yeah, big yeah, Alaska. It's, it's like a, yeah, it's like some kind of ice cream. He's like, I keep googling baked Alaska, and it's like there's an ice cream cake. Which, by the way, as as a fatty myself, I will probably uh, look into that be that as it may it's like I i'm listening to him say shit like this and and it's like I i'm very upset with andy and jf because it turned from really getting on his ass to let's hug this shit out and i'm sitting here yeah, like i was in here earlier it's, fucking empty. it's like i know andy doesn't jerk off but he doesn't need to fucking jerk baked off no it's even funnier the second time <laughs> sometimes they deserve seconds you know that's why I don't write them down, man. You got to do them when they're hot. Exactly. I, I'm sitting. I'm sitting. There. I was like, I, we, we're baby babysitting essentially. Uh, my roommate's friend's dog, and I was like, yeah, you're gonna need to take the dog because I, you know, I, I was expecting to go on Worski's show to tear into him, and I'm like, you need to take him because I'm probably gonna get loud and I don't want to get bit by him again. And um, <laughs> you get bit by I, dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, don't respect was, uh, you as the alpha, buddy. You gotta dry was, hump him. You know, I know. I, I need to, <laughs> need to assert my authority. Um, but it's like, I, even I'll admit, I was fucking triggered by that. And it was like, but it was great because it's like, you know, Aaron, would you date him if you were single? Fuck no. Mm. Right in front of 5,000 people. Yeah, well, now uh, that we've done some research the next day, it turns out both the girls in that apartment had boyfriends, right? Yeah, yeah, they did. There was no single available women there, although that girl was totally willing to cheat on her boyfriend and Bakes was just not doing it. Well, how, I, think, how, I, I think the numbers actually add up because there were there were two chicks there, right? Uh, but, like, three of the guys were gay. So <laughs> there's a number of, of fucking women in that apartment. What, when's Bakes, when's Bakes going to get it through his head that every woman he works with is using him? First, it was base mama to get her little fucking ball pit going, Ooh. and now it's Erin to get this fucking tit job. I mean, at some point, he has to fucking realize that shit is not what it seems. I told him last night, there was a single woman in that house that wanted to fuck with him, and the very sight of him in his camo outfit to cause a barren wall. And fucking Erin <laughs> grabbed her sides and bent over and was cracking up in his face. And he said nothing. She admitted on stream, we got her wetter than Bake did.
and we were making fun of her the entire time. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm like sitting there, and everybody's, you know, I'm watching like Bakes chat. And it's like, you know, oh, Erin is absolutely gorgeous. I'm like, she's like a four of ten at best. But as Marine, my standard is it has a hole in oh, the yeah. pulse, so I'll, I'll hey. fuck her. It's like I'll give her the most disappointing eight seconds of her life. Absolutely, <laughs> okay. Samaria, you know, I'd marry her. I, you know, she she was putting Erin on her ass, and it was great. And, and I'm okay with that. But it was like, I, I don't get it. Why do you guys like blondes so much? I've never been a blonde guy personally. And it's a fake ass blonde. Like her roots are showing. Right. Right. It's like it's well, like she's, you're not she's even. Too busy a... saving up money for her titties to afford a redive. See, the, the roots aren't showing, though. The peroxide from the blonde is actually sunk into her head, so it's not really the roots showing at that point. Yeah, I just want to throw this out there. I like how very specific and repeatedly they're just like, no, of course we're not doing coke. There is definitely no coke being done here. <laughs> they are very, very sure and loud to put that out there that they were not doing They just drugs. all had the sniffles simultaneously, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, that one dude's nostril is like way bigger than the others. Oh wait, he's got a meth arrest. He's got Never fucking Ricky Lang nose going on. Jim, how did? Where did you get that from? That's fucking hilarious. That that guy was busted for DUI meth. Uh, that was from uh, like Ralph did a follow up stream the next day, <clears throat> and I think it came out on that because he was like going through shit because um, he was playing the guy's videos and shit, uh, and it got linked during that time that he got busted for for meth. Like, I, I, I have to say that the entire fucking thing, I feel bad in terms of, you know, I, I'm not okay with doxing in general. When it comes to somebody like Ross, you know, even I'll say, you know, this this is not a case of fucking with someone. It's literally protecting children. Uh, so I'm okay with doxing and something like that. But something like this, I wasn't okay up until he engaged in a little hubris and said, nobody's going to fucking do anything, followed by... I'm not going to be fired. It's like, well, okay then. Challenge accepted. No balls in entire fucking chat. That's oh, going to end well yeah, for you. Well, yeah, he started the shit. I mean, he started bantering with the chat, acting like nothing was going to happen. And then he was dumb enough to say his name and then make stupid statements. So they thought they'd fuck with him. And then after that, all this other shit comes out. Like, what kind of dumb motherfucker asks a cop when he pulls you over and he's digging through your car and he says, do you want me to give you anything from in there? Yeah, can you hand me my meth? That's why he got arrested. He asked the cop to give him the shit that had his meth in it. And the cop's like, you're fucking retarded, you're under arrest. Uh, and then his he father... Like, I'm autistic, leave me alone, please. Yeah, and, yeah, and his dad wrote a book about dealing with an autistic sped of a son. And, like, his, <laughs> his, his dad's user handle, like, if you look it up and shit, everything the dad has online is focused on how fucking autistic his child is. Like, there's it's nothing just, that's just the dad. It's just that that family's entire dad. fucking paycheck comes from how autistic that guy is. I wish I could disappoint my dad that much. Holy shit. <laughs> His sister knows Ted talks about what a fuck up he is, too. About how <laughs> you, you know, I have to wonder if, uh, I have to wonder if Chad's father, you know, that there was that, like, 18 years or something where his father's like, I'm just gonna fuck, I, I produce this thing. I'm just gonna fucking kill myself, end it all. And then he, you know, now he's putting out books and everything about raising him, and now it's like he, his autism has, give, autism has given him a will to live all of a sudden. <laughs> See, this is LA people for you, his right? His chromosomes have a life of their own, is that what you're saying? <laughs> exactly. Like some horror movie, <laughs> they've come to life. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't get what's with these people. Like, have you ever seen um, when they do the IRL streaming, which could be a good concept, you know, for some funny shit if you went to, like, Compton or something. <laughs> but they, they all they all walk around like LA and like there's 30 of them 30 millennials walking next to each other everybody's got a fucking selfie stick it's the most ridiculous shit they all so desperately want to be famous I want to see someone do like an IRL stream in like Syria right they go to the fucking front lines and they're like streaming as the airstrikes you can just up. yeah go to somewhere that's gonna actually have a fucking reaction go to like Detroit or fucking Gary Indiana like I want to see some shit go down if you're gonna fucking do this you know what if I had, if I had the fucking internet I would totally do a stream like that you know you know, go, go to Syria or something. How well, are you here if right you're now? in Syria? How are you here? Magic. No, if you're in Syria, you're not going to have the internet, especially if you're in a firefight. Well, you could hook up like a sat phone or something, right? Actually, my uh, my uncle once did that. He wasn't supposed to. And um, in the middle of a firefight, it's like uh, he, he like calls us in the middle of a fucking firefight. And it's like, are you fucking serious? Are you being serious right now? What happens if you guys get shot? What happens if one of your guys gets shot and his response without missing a beat is, well, that's their own damn fault for not fucking ducking fast enough now, isn't it? I mean, 
I'm, I'm, si I'm si you know, there are people who do shit like that, and it... <laughs> but I, I just want to say, like, Bait, thank you. Thank you for giving me the meme material, because my low effort memes have come out, and I am dead serious when I say this. Make sure that Chad has the fucking suicide prevention hotline tomorrow. No, no, fuck that. I don't want him. To, I don't want to be calling oh, nobody. We need. We need to. I'm give him the videos. videos on YouTube. Twitter, and he says nobody go to YouTube HQ. Some of you are cool. <laughs> no, yeah, some of you are cool. Don't go to YouTube HQ tomorrow. So what's the story with his Discord? Has he taken it back over or has he left forever? Actually, fun fact, my autists from the Discord that I've been fighting with, like the fan Discord we have the issues with, now they're that Discord. They just took over that Discord. Oh, they're going to uh, displace him now too? He rage quit it last <laughs> yeah. night and he said he was leaving. And then like a 13-year-old girl that thinks she's going to move out because her dad won't let her get earrings. Uh, he came right back 10 minutes later and was like, give me this server back. You guys are all traitors. <laughs> Like, make I mean, up your fucking mind. You act like a woman. It was great when he sent like his little friends to to hit Ralph's Discord server, trying to get it taken down, trying to get the stream taken down, trying to get like you know strikes because they're doing the whole uh, you know they're they're putting like in, in, incredibly racist stuff that they're abusing the bot for text to speech. Um, it wasn't even that racist. That was like a four out of ten racist. Yeah, it was. It, it was for YouTube. It, it was uh, it was racist enough. Well, they only pick um, on Puerto Ricans or something. Some allowed group. No, that's the rest of the fucking. Uh, that's that's Mother Nature that fucks with Puerto Ricans, <laughs> as as we all know this. Um, you know, it's. <laughs> I'm not gonna kick the dog while it's down. Mother Nature's gonna do that because hurricane season's coming up right now. Um, but it's like he does that, and then once again, it's like Andy's like everybody go. Uh, raid Baked Alaska's stream after this and Baked starts like borderline crying right there. He's like don't do that. It's like the double standard is fucking real. I, I loved how he was like uh, when people were like hey 1k coming up and he started rubbing his hands together because he thought he was actually going to get 1k like his donations and it was actually just dislikes. Yeah he thought that was cash coming his way and then I think he, <laughs> he realized it like 998 dislikes and he tried to play it off he's like oh yeah dislike the stream man that'll be cool. Oh hey speaking, speaking of, speaking of money chat, apparently you actually do a super chat on. For ten dollars from Subhuman, keep up the good work. Also, Medicare, please turn on Super Chat if you do live streams. I think YouTube doesn't allow chargebacks I'll, uh, for Super I'll Chat. I'll toss you guys a buck on Patreon or something. I don't need no Even it out. Uh, no, I, it, like I, 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 to be honest, I hate doing fucking streams. Uh, I like being a <laughs> I, I, I like being a guest on them, but I hate fucking doing them. And then um, I never really, I never really did the Super Chat shit because. Uh, I, it feels weird, like everybody's typing shit. And I'm just used to reading chat as it is, and I feel like I'm neglecting like, normal people by just being like, "Let me pound through some super chats, everybody." Well, to be <laughs> fair, like everybody there else. are no normal people watching this stream. They're all exceptional, wonderful, delicious, and delightful. Thank you all. <laughs> Except for I'm that sure subhuman that's... guy. Fuck that guy. Fucking cocksucker. <laughs> yeah, no, well, that's you know I want to throw out there because Scrub's fucking awesome for that 24-hour stream he did. Yeah, you no, know, he did one really of the... long one, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a great guy, and one of the things that he does that people love is that he'll just, when there's nothing else going, he will just absolutely straight up read the chat. I was uh, listening the other night, went to the gym, and it was just scrub fucking reading chats for like two hours, and it was fucking hilarious. Oh, hey, speaking of chat, uh, robot voice. Yeah. <laughs> your, your chat's asking an important question. Uh, Black Magic wants to know if you're all friends now with him. <laughs> like, that's such a weird mentality. I don't get that. It's the fucking internet. I, I don't understand that shit. Well, that was just so friend. sad when he came to Tonka after Zoom, like, literally put him on suicide watch. And, you know, like, fucking uh, the Adidas person left. And he's just like, I, I thought we were friends, Tonka. Tonka, how could you bring this I I'd just like to respond to somebody from chat, Skip Rock. I don't sound like a dork. I sound like a 13-year-old girl when I'm on a VOIP. So, uh, get your insults right, asshole. <laughs> For 100 North Korean dollars, whatever the fuck that is, the Bloodsport ride never <laughs> oh, ends. Uh, Kim might not want you to be giving them that, but, you know, it is what it is. Support the American imperialists. Or I the could buy one government-approved, uh, periodical then. Oh, fuck that <laughs> submarine. I was looking at the fucking super chat. Hey, North Korean guy, you owe me a fucking plane, you cocksucker. <laughs> Alex the Southerner for $5. Smegma King deserves my money. I do. There you go. <laughs> 
Uh, hey, so Zoom, you've got a long ass list of stuff you've got written down. Why don't you just pound through some of that and see see how good some of no, it is? No, I want to pound through it while he's here, so I can see the tears in his eyes, <laughs> like the Native American walking by the garbage blood. on the, the side of the road. The only was on fucking Aaron's tampon. Uh, she seems like more of a free, free bleeding kind of girl to me, you know. She just like, free bleed right into my mouth. They had him on for like an hour and he was just imploding and no one said a fucking thing. I, it's, way, been, it's been a weird day, man. It's been a weird time. This is the, the greatest world. timeline. I don't know what you're talking about, Jim. I, no, no, I like a good train wreck, but it's just weird that it happened over the course of 24 solid fucking hours. And it doesn't look like it's going to have any breaks, which, you know, which is what caused the train wreck to begin with. Yeah, where the fuck does this go now? I don't think that Baked is going to take the break. It sounds like he's planning on streaming tonight. Like he's, he's yes. gonna he's gonna stream tonight. Uh, I I, uh, I know Ralph uh, Ethan Ralph has challenged him, uh, asked him to go on the Kubate with him. Ralph uh, Baked, of course, has not said if he's going to do it. Ralph is, you know, I, I'm fairly certain for the last 24 hours, Ralph has had a giant boner from the idea of being on the kumite with baked which you should probably see a doctor about that i'm pretty sure viagra commercials tell you that but whatever i'm not a doctor not even uh not even dr v and um i i don't know where it goes at this point i i, I think baked is either going to literally having just been rejected by Erin on a stream in front of like 6,000 people. Uh, just a reminder that rejections like that are what cause serial killers like Son of Sam. <laughs> I just, I don't think he's competent enough to be a serial killer. You don't have to be competent. You just have to, you know, not get caught for like a couple of years. This motherfucker wants to have his name on everything, even things he didn't do. You'd be like the Zodiac killer sending fucking signed <laughs> letters to the police. I, I couldn't believe what a fucking shekel loving jew fucking shilling whore he was on there andy the why isn't my why what isn't my stream in the description <laughs> why aren't i getting all these donations what about me like hey toad by the way if you want to get on here toad help. you've got the link it's the same hangout we were using for scrub stream so just you know if you want to pop in we'd always like to talk Yeah, wasn't Toad the one that tweeted out uh, yesterday? He was like, "I think, I think Bake's gonna be okay. I think everything's gonna turn out okay before everything went to shit." Yeah, it's uh, Toad went to sleep early last night. Or at least he tried to. It was <laughs> that was weird. It was the weirdest because it's like, oh, Scrub streaming. Let's go hang out with Scrub and see what's going on. And then it got into this thing with me and uh, Strawman just yelling at each other over some stupid bullshit. And then we kind of were like, okay, we moved past it. And then uh, the fucking string got taken down because some retard tried to play hente in the background and he didn't want to get a strike. <laughs> and, I just like uh, the way you pronounce it wrong on purpose so we don't think you actually look at it. You're right. not fooling anybody, motherfucker. What's, what's this word? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, food oh, I'm full what's that? Like? Oh. <laughs> Tentacle porn, what? No, and then, and then Where did this know, come I'm streaming from? fucking Dark Souls. I got like 50 people watching him stream Dark Souls and just suck at it. And then this all happened, and by the end of it, he's got 2,000 plus viewers. Like, are you fucking kidding me? It, my, my, my favorite part, no, I have to say yesterday, my favorite part of the whole Ralph, um, Ralph Baked Alaska thing was Baked Alaska, when he finally figured out, when he was told that Ralph was doing it, he, like, looks at Ralph's stream and is like, who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? And it's like, I, I did a meme about it, it's like, you, I took the view count for Ralph's stream and the view count at the time from, uh, bake stream it's like like 1100 to 200 viewers it's like who the fuck is this guy someone doing a shit ton better than you are yeah i literally started cracking up when fucking he was talking about success and fucking jim's like yeah i have 218,000 subscribers but i don't think i need tips on success from you and he just went completely quiet that was yeah, a, in a very that, subtle that, that... way to tell him to go home and get his fucking shine box <laughs> I, I know. I, I, hate, I hate saying shit like that because uh, it, it comes off as fucking arrogant. But th this is like a guy that uses... He uses a fucking term influencer, and he means it. Like, how fucked are you in the head that you've reached that point where you're going around talking about marketing and branding and being an influencer on a fucking social media he site? He's an influencer. He drove a lot of people to sign up to go to college so they don't end up like him. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to, I, I was going to say, Baked Alaska gives hope to people like me. Because I'm a small 
I'm a small time YouTube quote content creator and someone as retarded as baked is able to get as big as he is. That gives me so much fucking hope. He's like so the new Forrest Gump. He's I would, give, generation the I would give the grocery store all the props for getting him as big as he is. <laughs> Subhuman for two dollars. Swing with Maddox? Oof. I'll swing my dicks <sighs> in your face, you cocksucker. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I liked uh, the thing that was my favorite on Ralph's stream last night was just the the all sub millennial Matt and Fuentes thing because I never thought that was gonna fucking happen. That guy was amazed they got on stream together, and then they all started shitting on baked. Like that takes some real doing, man. <laughs> it's like okay, I fucking hate you, I hate you, you hate me, but I think we all hate baked, and that's the one thing that brings us together, shall we? Yeah, they stayed on stream with Ralph for like three hours laughing at Baked. Like that, after fighting, you know, tooth and nail on social media for like fucking three months. It's kind of uh, impressive. <laughs> but Baked, how's, how does it feel to know that you, you bring enemies together to laugh at your fucking getting cucked? Uh, I don't think that's really what it comes to. <laughs> I, I know. I'm, I, I, it's, it's, it's a rhetorical question that Baked will never answer because you're probably never going to, you know. I don't know. Oh, hey, Jim, while I have you here, do you know who Britbong is? Uh, yeah, Manly Tears? Or Manly Tears? Yeah, yeah I know what <laughs> yeah, you're talking about. Uh, that guy is in love with you. What do you think of him? Uh, my only interactions with him is... I, I think he shit-talked me a few times on Twitter, and that's about it. I remember him from V when he used to spam the shit out of it, and okay. they, they banned him. Was about That's about my knowledge of him. Oh, because he's going to be watching this stream later and reporting it for whatever reason. And I just wanted to get on record that you have no idea anything about him and don't yeah, care. Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't say that uh, he's your best friend. He likes to lie and pretend that he has uh, Didn't Didn't he try to copyright or say he copyrighted like a, a meme or some kind of fucking image macro? Yeah, he tried to pretend that he created Forever Alone and then he got counterclaimed and sued over it and his parents had to pay a settlement. Yeah, he Def fucking lost <laughs> He also claimed copyright on uh, Exceptional Detectives video about him, too. Oh, yeah, that, that video is going to go back up tomorrow because oh. he never submitted the court claims. I, I have court, not seen this an actual claim. Oh, yeah, it's great. It's like It uh, it highlights when he ran a fake anti-bullying charity and then pocketed $5,800, and then when Angry Joe Show called him out for it, he started posting his docs, and then he got permabanned off Twitter on the Manly Tears UK account, and he came back on Fred Bond Returns and said, Oh, I wasn't doing anything. I oh, wait, 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 There, there is one more thing that I know about him. I saw somebody pass me a clip. Is, is he fighting with, like, Keemstar or something? Because there's a stream where Keemstar, <laughs> where Keemstar was like, I have fucked you <laughs> and you can't do anything about it. Uh, well, the person that keeps getting a bent is actually me, and he keeps burging out over it. He did a five-hour stream the other day about me because I keep banning him. He's and a he said bully. That he used to be one of his, I, I used to be one of his fans, apparently. I was never fucking one of his fans. I just thought he was a faggot. He literally Careful. goes out of his way to flag people's channels that get more views than him and like suspend people off Twitter and all these other commentary YouTubers that got more views than him. And then he got mad because they got him fired from his little fucking network. And once he didn't have network support, he couldn't hide behind it anymore. And, oh, and then, and then on. hold on, my pug's freaking out. Shut up. Roy Dribble for $20. <laughs> Empty Hero is a cutie pie and I want to miscegenate with him. You yeah, fucked, it. You fucked up my joke timing. God damn it. I was gonna say, why did he invite Aaron on stream? But you fucked it, because now the dog sound's yeah. gone. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My German Shepherd came in on babysitting a pug, and it scared the shit out of the pug. That, yeah, that's, that's that's how small dogs work. I seriously, I, I want to punch uh, him just because Aaron's no one would ever know that I did it, because their faces are already punched in. Little fucking retard. <laughs> they are ugly what, dogs. What's uh, What's going on there, fellas? Oh, hey, it's a good boy. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing, man. I just followed your new Twitters. Uh, you want to you pimp that out real quick? Because people need to be able to fucking see what you're putting out that you put out good content. No, not really. It's just my fucking Twitter, dude. I don't know if the other one's going to get banned or not anyway, so. I don't know. I, I got your shit yeah. so it comes to my phone because it's like I'll look down halfway through the day. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. You do good stuff. I don't know. You're funny as fuck on Twitter. That's just shit posting. <laughs> Jim, Queen of Bands is trying to get you to read the side chat. Oh, how the fuck do I look at it? It uh, says, can I have my meth? That's kind of a weird thing to ask him. Nah, there's no show him. <laughs> do, uh, I... do, you guys, do you guys think if uh, Baked Alaska took a random right now that he'd pass? <laughs> no. I'm, not, I'm not talking about for weed either. 
I uh, I don't I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I really don't know. Based on I think are we talking stuff. about like a hair follicle sample, a fat sample? Like oh, if it's hair follicle, he's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's called a specifically suspicious denial. You know. Well, look, if he's not on lithium by tomorrow to deal with the crippling depression that he's got to be having gnawing at his soul right now, I'll be no. fucking impressed. No, dude, like this is what I was getting at. And Jim Jim said it. He's like, isn't Toad that the one that said, uh, you know, Baked is going to be fine. You know, he'll it, it'll roll off him. But what I was getting at is this fucking like impenetrable, uh, unintentional stoicism he has from being so fucking stupid that usually... <laughs> When people go in on him or he does something retarded, he just doesn't acknowledge it. But somehow he managed to just completely – I don't know that I've ever seen anybody make that big of an ass out of themselves in this short amount of time. Oh, but he was, he was having fun, fun though. <laughs> he told everybody he was having fun. What are you talking about? It was a great time. It was a good time. Everything's good. Yeah, he was channeling his inner Matt Jarba with all that laughing. Didn't you hear it? Listen, I'm not here to take anything for Jim. Uh, I've heard he's the <laughs> biggest. I'm, I'm, I've heard he's the biggest bullying doxing man on the internet. So yeah, I don't even know. I thought I, I was the biggest bully. Hey Joaquin, he's he's toxic. Could you ban him real quick? Toxic, <laughs> toxic. Apparently, I'm doxing people left and right. Everybody in here has been accused of fucking doing terrible things. I don't know. It was it. It was this really weird thing he was doing with you too. Have like, I been? He wanted to. He wanted to step up to you, like he was gonna take you down, and then. He'd start sucking your dick, and then he'd step up, and then he'd start sucking your dick again. Like, I don't see. The I don't. I, 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 I <laughs> the don't guy, know what that. I don't know what that guy's no deal is. He's oh, Aaron's a dumb whore and he's a crack a, whore, and then that's right. Oh, Aaron's great. You want to come back on my show? No, oh, a, I love this Malala girl. Oh wait, she's this about the Jews. Fuck her. He's doing pickup <laughs> artist shit. He's, <laughs> not, he's not good looking enough to nick her. No. Jim, wait, Jim, how, how dare you be anonymous? I respect your anonymity. What the fuck? I heard that. <laughs> it's like, Jim, I, I, I hate uh, you're anonymous. You never show your face. Like, show your face. I respect your anonymity, but show your fucking face, asshole. Uh, if anything, you, you should learn by example what happens when you show your face. Well, yeah, I, I don't get the mentality. Like, I, I really don't. I don't get the modern mentality. Everybody He's wants to be, Strayan. They want to be internet friends. They want to fucking strip away their anonymity. And it's just such a retarded fucking thing to do. I, I don't know. Maybe it's an older mindset. Maybe everybody's gone completely fucking faggot on this. But I, I don't want to I don't want to put my name out there. I don't want to put my face out there. I don't want to be a fucking brand. I don't want to be the people gym like experience. Him, they want to have the right to be a pussy and not get criticized over it. And that's what he's like. He thinks he's like out there with the bandana defending American right to be a pussy. And all he is is just being a pussy. He's not out there throwing hands with people. He probably runs away the minute an angry black person crosses the street. Dude, 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 did you see the fucking IRL stream he did? That dude's a huge fucking yeah. pussy. Oh my dude, God, I saw him getting so hassled. Bad. I saw him on Twitter. There was a picture of me standing on the street with a fucking billboard. Like one of those little poster boards on a fucking uh, piece of wood. Say, and this black, woman comes over, this black woman comes over and starts screaming at him. And he just, he just crosses the street and walks away. No, on that fucking IRL stream he did with Asian Andy and uh, Worski, he starts talking shit to some dude like this skinny fucking skater punk. And the dude walks back up to him like, dude, you want to fight? And just immediately, no. Oh, yeah, no, he, asked him, he asked him around the corner. He's like, we can take this private. Let's walk around the building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bake's like, no, 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 everything's good. I like you. You're nice. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure, sure. I I'm, I'm fully expecting that... Um. Bake's actually going to get a girlfriend who's and we're the, the next thing we're going to hear from Tonka is what he said to uh, Matt Jarbo. Matt, I know I'm better than you and you want to fucking know how I know I'm better than you because my girl doesn't pay for me. I pay for me. I guarantee you Baked Alaska is going to have a girlfriend like that. And, mm. He already has one. It's called his mommy. Yeah, Baked was, living, Baked was living with his fucking parents. Like Not a even month. a month ago. Not yeah. even a month ago. He how was old, in his parents' basement. How old is that fucking guy? Almost thirty, I think. That is fucking pathetic. Wait, I thought I thought he lived up in like a. I thought he was like in an apartment or a house up in no, Alaska. No, he was in his parents' yeah, house yeah, in Alaska. Yeah, so was, what happened was after. Wait, Charlotte wait, wait! Girl. You're telling me the asshole that was trying to throw out the insult that I live in a basement was living with his mommy a month ago? Jim, yeah. you were you were doing post shows like after the um um. Who was it? Tariq Nasheed and Jared Taylor. That post show was in his was at his parents' house. 
get get the fuck out. Are you serious? Serious. No, because he was. This is his literally his thing. So after Charlottesville, right? He allegedly got maced, and he was allegedly in the hospital for six months with it. And he said, "Oh, my medical bills racked up so much, I couldn't afford them, so I had to move back in with my parents." From getting maced. But but the put, put the scenery the scenery while he was filming never changed. They just yeah, this, moved the whole room over. This, this goes back to, you know, another reason people want to keep their fucking anonymity on the internet. I've got a real job. I, I have no desire to fucking make money off of this. Right? To fucking put my name out there and then eventually it dries up and I'm stuck with a fucking mortgage I can't pay. You know how terrifying it is when I do the Smegma King voice in public and someone looks at me like they recognize it? <laughs> I gotta stop doing it real quick. <laughs> it's weird when people fucking follow me on Twitter and I see that they're from the same state as me. Oh, I had a guy who listened to one of my story videos. He's like, I know what town you're from. I remember you. But he liked me, so he didn't dox me, I guess. What? I, I, like, I, I've, I've actually had um, a few people from my town who are like, wait, I saw you at the Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm like, ooh, I'm a, okay. Well, like, I slept through that. Um, how, how the fuck is that happening to you guys? That's never happened to me. I've never run into well, I, one person that was like, I know that voice. Well, I recognize dude, it. Dude, you spend all your time in, in a basement. You never go out, remember? Well, I am locked down here, yeah, with uh, a <laughs> well, fucking to uh, be, chain or cage. Yeah, that's well, where we're To be fair, they're, they're probably expecting, like, literally Billy to show up. I, I'm the most average-looking fuck. Maybe, I mean, maybe that throws them off. Maybe they're expecting me to be like a super bully, like Roosh V was saying earlier, <laughs> where I'm like wearing leather and biker gear and shit, and I got fucking face tattoos, and I've got like the uh, what was that fucker uh, from The Walking Dead? Uh, the one that had the bait or the bat with the fucking uh, nails in it? Oh, Negan. Uh, Negan. 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 Yeah, yeah, they're expecting Negan. like Negan to walk through, calling everybody a faggot, and saying the Reddit tier at the gas really, station. Really, you're a sassy <laughs> black woman, and no one knows. Yeah, I'm very good at disguising my voice. Jesus Christ. It's hey, the side technology. effect of sickle cellulite that no one expects. It's white guys. <laughs> sickle cellulite. <laughs> you just have to wave the watermelon under his nose and he gets all <laughs> Hey, 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 Zoom. That, come on. You, now, now you're being toxic. Uh, who do I keep? Yeah, get this guy out of here. <laughs> I do want to, I do want to go back to something though because the gym experience like if he calls it the big if somebody gets the gym experience it's not like oh we're watching you know the metacast or whatever the gym experience is what happens to like the bully hunters that's the gym experience <laughs> I, I don't get the whole branding thing like I, I, I come up with a, a name that I, I think works or I, I fucking just steal a Google image like the whole internet aristocrat shit was just the first fucking Google image search result. But I feel like Baked really puts effort into it. Like, he wants to craft a fucking brand that's going to be recognizable. I, just, I don't get that. It is recognizable as something well, you want to avoid. How long How long has he been trying now. to craft this? I mean, he's been wearing fucking Baked Alaska shirts for years now. Yeah, it, it has to be like five years, right? Because this was back... Like, when, when Milo was still on Twitter and shit. Well, Milo, like, like, the Milo thing, that would have been, what, 15? Because it was the lead-up to the election. That's when he started getting... Well, no, because I guess, he, yeah, it would have been at four years ago, because the year before, he was at fucking uh, BuzzFeed. 2014, 2015, what, what, what do you yeah. guys? What do you guys think of the fact that that retard said he was Milo's manager? Oh, I thought bullshit. that that was hilarious. No and nobody way, no. Hold on, hold on. That. Having seen him today, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he made a stop God. after the man syllable and the adjure. Was a mistake. He just has gay sex with them. No, Milo likes black people. Hey, hey, we don't call <laughs> yeah, people. Milo, Milo hey. would see that fucking pudgy fupa he's got going on and be like, uh, no, thank you. I can do better. That's probably the reason why he's not Milo's manager, because Milo hates fat people. Well, if he had been Milo's manager, he would have gone and, like, for real. Like, Milo, no, he wouldn't have gone anywhere. He's, he's oh, fat. Like, like Milo would have taken pity on him for a few months, but then Milo would have been like, hmm, darling, you're just too fat to be around me. You gotta go. And well, they both do the same up. kind of thing. It's they're, they're beta orbiters for the real alt right, you know, and they steal they steal the edgier content, and then they try to ride that. Milo's big first big piece when the one he wrote with the re the fucking Durka Durka name. <laughs> Just the way you said uh, Milo's Mon first Bar. big piece, I thought that was going to be a black guy's penis joke. <laughs> it basically was. It was right? going to be about a black guy. And, and so, uh, <laughs> so he he was on, and he was. He was just writing about the alt-right, and he was like, oh, I'm not part of the alt-right, but this is the alt-right. And eventually he starts going out there representing. He does the whole, like, college campus tour thing, and all he was doing was stealing talking points from fucking Andrew Anglin and Mike Enoch. 
and he was going out there and putting it up. But God forbid he would ever go on a podcast with one of those guys or ever promote, you know, real white identity stuff. He just wants to be edgy because, and he, this is the same thing Bake's doing is, oh, I'm normalizing. And he said the fucking Chaggy guy said, that, you know, oh, I'm normalizing white nationalists. I'm mainstreaming it. Because what these people do is they take better content and they're like, oh, but I've got all these connections and I've got a brand so I can put it out there. You know, like I got a lot of respect for people who can actually go out there and say it and just not fucking cuck on the content. And then, you know, maybe their life gets fucked up. Maybe they don't get monetized, you know, isn't that? But they're out there because they're not in it for the money. Can you imagine the being the person it. taking the order for the baked Alaska t-shirts from the warehouse? And they're just sitting there laughing at him as they're pressing it onto the t-shirts, knowing that no one's ever going to wear them. You mean a little you Chinese guy rubbing his hands oh. together? <laughs> ah, stupid <laughs> fucker guys in the round guy. Hey, Jim, so so back in the day, like, Milo got in on um, Gamergate. Now, I don't know a fucking thing about Gamergate, but do you think he was genuine back then, or was he doing kind of the same thing Bakes doing with, like, the, no, the no, money my, grab? Milo's always been pretty up, uh, <laughs> out. He's always been pretty open about wanting to ride the next big thing. Uh, I think he saw it as, like, an opportunity to get his brand going. I, I don't know how he felt personally about the issue, but I always thought as like, he was going to try to build up who Milo was and he used it to do that and then he transitioned it into the the, the fucking politics stuff. He hmm. brought up the article about the alt righty wrote. He didn't write that. Alan Bakari wrote that. That's what he had. Saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, that was a whole fucking leak that went through. I can't even remember what outlet it was, but they had all these emails, internal emails about Alan being upset because he didn't get co-authorship on it. Milo took the whole thing from him. I think that was Mike. I think Mike did that, the, uh, the, the um, email. I don't. I know there's a few hours, and I mean, hopefully he'll be on in a few minutes to talk about it. But um, there's because there, there's on their website behind the paywall, they've got a lot of the content of him talking about um, Yiannopoulos and that whole shit show with a reporter from some fucking shit lip magazine, and he kind of gives him the real the real dirt on it. Um, but yeah, you know, he was in contact with those people. Yiannopoulos was, and he just you know did not give anybody the credit that they deserved. Yeah, there's apparently a lot of ghostwriting going on at Breitbart. I, I don't know how deep it went, but there's a lot of it. Well, can I just well, say, I think Milo's his main draw was that he was allowed to represent Gamergate because they didn't want to put their best foot forward representing it. <laughs> He's kind of a clown, so why not put him out there? And Are make you the rest saying of that because stupid? Medicare didn't step up and fucking take the lead <laughs> on it? Oh, fuck this. Why won't you be a West leader, Jim? Jim? <laughs> is it such a weird stance to tell people that if they've reached the point where they think they need to turn to YouTubers to save them, that they probably deserve to be gassed? Like, is that such a weird fucking thing to tell people? <laughs> so, Jim, dude, I've wanted to ask you this because when uh, Sargon was having his, his little meltdown with the Kumite, I made I made a little video for Tonka, and it was just, uh, it was basically you leaving and then Sargon being ass heard about it, and then when you came back on that stream with him and Milo, and Sargon trying to tell you how much you loved your content. Essentially, you told him it's just fucking YouTube, man. Get over it. Yeah, I, I, I've been consistent or tried to be consistent about that. It is just fucking YouTube. I'm just a faggot that makes videos on the fucking internet. There's no magic to that. You, Anybody blew, can their, you blew their fucking mind earlier when you were like, you were like, aren't we friends? We've hung out. We've got Chinese people. You're like, no. We're just <laughs> you, fucking you, you, make fun. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, you know, you, you think... all missed the great joke where it's there were two footprints in the sand. And then there's only one. That's that's when Jim was carrying you. He was right. <laughs> but there just in like his live stream right now. No. Jim, do you think Sargon desperately wants to be your friend, or at least he did before you really took a shit on him? I, I don't know. That was a whole. That, that was a really fucking weird day. Uh, I I posted the Murdoch Murdoch clip where they're doing the Sargon needs more dopamine shit because I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, those guys uh, are brilliant. I, I wish they could put their shit actually on YouTube. I could watch it more. Yeah, I know it sucks that they keep getting uh, knocked off, but I, I got a fucking DM from uh, the quartering who said, "Oh, Louis Levey wants you to go on his stream." <laughs> so I was like, I, "I don't care, you know, because I'll go on most people's streams." He's like, "Fine, go on there." And then like Louis, like it's just had all these weird talking points about you shouldn't make fun of Sargon, you shouldn't laugh at this. This is important. We're gonna save the West. <laughs> and I, I told him he was a faggot for thinking that. And then I see Sargon in the, the chat, like giving him like pointers and sanction. I was yeah. like, just bring him on. So I, I don't know. I guess maybe they don't like being made fun of. Is really right. Well, well, it was really surreal to me when uh, he screamed at you that you were supposed to be the leader and you walked away from it. I'm like, there's something, there's something deeper going on here with Sargon. You were supposed Sargon. to bring balance to the game of gate, not destroy it. Sargon, you chosen. 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 <laughs> That's such a bad. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, Mike? How you doing? Hey, what's going on? Can you guys hear me all right? Yeah, you're coming in good. Coming in, Chris. All right. 
Have so, you been watching uh, this shit show? Vaguely. I was more focusing on, like, politics. <laughs> like, I was more focusing on this serious shit. Um, I saw this, I saw that there was, like, apparently a meltdown last night. I saw some of it, and it looked embarrassing. Did you, like, uh, did you catch the Alsep and Fuentes debate? They debated Syria for, like, uh, 30, 40 minutes. It's kind of interesting. I, I didn't, actually, because the stream that they were on was, like, so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Every time I skipped, it was just more like, "Oh my god, look at this shit show!" Oh my god, look at this shit show. Oh, no, I didn't. I do know World that. Um, World I am aware of. Uh, I'm aware of Nick's positions. Uh, you know, I don't want to prosecute that here. Um, I <laughs> don't think he's gonna. Uh, I don't think those are gonna stand up too well to scrutiny. But that's you know, I'll leave it at that. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I mean, it was interesting to watch him go because they had kind of uh, opposing viewpoints, pretty much <laughs> directly opposing on what they thought of that. Yeah, well, Nick doesn't like to go negative. So I think that that's what he's doing. He doesn't want to go negative on Trump. He doesn't want to go negative on, like, America, things that, you know, patriotic Americans might might rustle them or get under their skin a little bit. Whereas that's, you know, that doesn't bother me so much. I just say what I think. So, Look, I put on the uniform and even I'll say, you know what? There's some shit that my country could do, you know, a little better. And I have well, no problem saying that. And well, that's the thing is that, like, criticizing our, our like, shit tier foreign policy is pretty standard fare. Like, there's normies, like, don't, doesn't offend them. Like, it really doesn't. Unless you're talking about really just dumbass, like, boomer cons. But who cares what they think? Factory <laughs> and fans for this. $20. Have some money, smack my king. Oh, thank you. I'll uh, use like, that for terrible things. <laughs> You're gonna regret giving me that money. <laughs> are you are you gonna use it to buy the cocaine that uh that uh baked didn't buy yesterday? How much cocaine can you get for twenty bucks? Like a particle? I don't know if your if your friend's a meth dealer, probably a pretty good deal. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Though. He's also oh, autistic, so he'll he'll be able to count every fucking cent. Were they doing <laughs> drugs like on air? Yeah. Uh, one of the dudes. Um, in, uh, yeah, one of the dudes in the background has like an arrest record for meth possession and shit like that. Uh, and they were acting crazy as fuck. So I have, I have no idea. I can't say for sure, but. Well, when Erin oh. got off stream and came back on, she had white powder all over her chest. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. And then she changed, yeah, yes. then she changed her. She changed her shirt, and she sat there rocking back and forth, screaming, and, and like. Well, I do that when I'm on my show. Does but... <laughs> it you seem a little bit You're lower energy than I'm used to? What me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's late. Well, it's late. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting to come on, and and uh, yeah, no, like at, at twelve forty-five at night, I'm lower energy than I am in the in the afternoon. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, no, that looked like a real shit show. So wait, just clear something up for me. That extremely hyper like gay guy. That guy was working for Jesse Lee Peterson. Is that is no, that? No, that that's was Take the... Alaska. Which gay guy? Gotcha. There was three gotcha. gay guys. Yeah, more specific. The one that was like the guy that books people. Yeah, that oh, was him. Sure. People yeah. call him Chaggett, but I mean, his name is out there. There's literally a book his dad wrote on how autistic his kid is. So he's booking people for Jesse Lee Peterson? Yeah, and yeah. he goes on the thing defending pedophilia and saying he's normalizing white nationalism. Uh, I mean, I saw that and I was like, because I got booked on Jesse Lee Peterson. I mean, I ignored it for a while, but the guy was real persistent. So we were like, all right, that's fine. And it was actually, I felt kind of bad because we had DeMarcus on that show, like pretending to be black. And like Peterson. What kind of jerk goes around pretending and, to be black? But yeah, no, I, but yeah, Peterson yeah, like, believed it. And then I, I felt bad for tricking the guy. Like I felt like an asshole. Well, but, you just had him on not too long after that, right? No, we, we no. When he was on, Demarcus was on the show, and he was doing the black Jew act to. He was telling like Jesse, he's like, "Yeah, I'm black Jew," and, and like he he was. Like, yeah, I saw that. It. It, it was it was great. Show. It was a great show. Was I, I thought I thought it was funny, but I felt bad. I, I don't know. <laughs> this guy's like religious. Isn't, I don't know. Like, well, isn't isn't Jesse Lee Peterson like real fucking old too? Uh, he's old. He's just like a. He's just. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why he has a homosexual like drug addict booking his shows that's kind of weird like do you think he knew about all that though probably not the guy seems like he would autistic. be somebody that would be yeah he's uh, he's autistic <laughs> <laughs> he seems like somebody that wouldn't be tough to take advantage of if you were like that kind of a person 
I just like how you can't make fun of people with Down Syndrome, but if they have autism, fuck them. Stupid animals. It's not like they know if you're making fun of them or not. <laughs> Wait, somebody, don't, wait, we don't, don't make fun of autistic people. Well, well, somebody sent in, somebody sent in a clip to um, uh, Andy Worsey's show of that dude. Just I don't know if it was Snapchat or what the fuck it was. He didn't seem very autistic. Like he seems like just a Chad bro. Hey, thanks, uh, sweet forward. That was from his YouTube I'm channel. Pizza with that? Or was it? They, they found his YouTube channel, and the thing that, that got me was that like. Uh, this baker retard was just flat out lying when he got on a worse stream. You don't he was, say. He never said that. He never said anything about pedophilia. The guy literally got on stream and looked dead at the camera and he said that, that teachers that have sex with their underage students should not only be given a salary but a raise and a good position in the community because they're doing a service to the community. And then people brought it back up 20 minutes later and he looks dead in the camera and five times in a row looks in the camera and says they are doing a service to this community. They deserve a raise. They deserve a pension. They deserve a charge. Now, how old was the girl or the, the boy he was talking about in that hypothetical? Like 14. 12. Then, it was a 12-year-old boy he was talking about in that hypothetical. Yeah. Is it, you know my opinion up. on pedophiles? They're, uh, they're uh, fucking immature assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you want to know my opinion on pedophiles? You love them? There uh, you go. Yeah. Well, he, uh, he texted Baked, and he read it out loud. He said, sorry, you know, that I wasn't able to, able to convey myself, um, in a proper way. I'm autistic, so I have, I have troubles. Yeah. He has and, troubles and, keeping and, his dick out of children because he's autistic. Well, yeah, in social situations, well, we saw something real fucking similar with Ross being autistic. It's not a fucking excuse. Yeah, but like after a certain point, like you can't use, oh, I'm not socially uh, all there as an excuse when, I'm not even kidding you, 17 times. He said it 17 times over a five hour period that it was perfectly okay. And then people clipped it into eight different clips and started sending it to his boss. And then all of a sudden he's freaking out. It's, it's like that. Maybe I'm fucking crazy here, but I don't think there's any excuse for talking about fucking children being okay. <laughs> No, there no, isn't. There isn't. No, no, there isn't. This sounds yeah. like a very odd stream. That's a fucking understatement of you. And then that sums up pedophilia. What's not to like? Mike, that 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 sums up the baked Alaska experience. Star Fox and pedophilia. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what really to say. Like, it seems. Uh, you know, I know when I first met Baked, like, he kind of didn't, he was, he was, he's not, like, uh, the sharpest guy. Like, he didn't have the hottest takes, right? <laughs> so it was, like, he was nice, he meant well, but he kind of, like, would, would be, like, kind of ham-fisted with some of the stuff. What um, were your thoughts, real quick, because I want to keep hearing you talk about that, but I remember he was on Fash the Nation, like, way yeah. back when. What were your thoughts on that episode and when that came out? Because that was before a lot of stuff had happened. All right, so I can talk drama on this. <laughs> I mean, this is old stuff. I guess I'll just say, you know, what, what, I've, what I'm comfortable saying. Um, when this that happened, um, I, I didn't really have input on that. Like, that was jazz, jazz, I don't, like, tell Jazz Hands how to, how to do his show or anything. So he had him on because he was like, we were like, oh, this will be good. It was during the election. He had a big Twitter following. So we're like, all right, this, we're going to get uh, our show into, like, this... Uh, big Twitter influencer guys, uh, you know, stream here, and that was the that was a strategy. But then it was sort of like he had done this bit where, after being kicked out of Deplorable or being disinvited from Deplorable, um, he uh, he then like doxed so called or sort of doxed Jeff Giza, like he revealed that he was the funding behind it. Um, and also was the guy behind a Twitter account that I guess Giza had wanted to keep anonymous because he was posting like kind of edgy content on it. Um, so I guess it wasn't secret who he was funding or where his political sympathies lay, but he was going like edgier than he should have been on this one account. And then like Bait like revealed that. So Jazz Hands like kind of had to tell him like, dude, even though Giza is not really our guy, like you don't you kind of just don't do this as a thing. It seems to be a persistent problem with people that they, they feel like somebody who's like one inch different than me ideologically and I can just throw them under the bus to the left. I don't, I don't understand. You know, I don't approve of that at all. But other than that, he said, he, he you know, ba uh, Jazz, like, he, he didn't really have any anything to, to add. So he, he had to, like, feed him 
lines. Um, so, you know, that was our thing because we didn't really know him that well. We were just like, oh, this guy seems to be in like the Milo sphere, that, that kind of like MAGA tier, alt light sphere. And he's got a lot of followers, so that'll be a good place. Alt light. <laughs> or whatever it is. I don't even know. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah. Baked, Baked is like the worst kind of fucking person. He just. He sees an opportunity to get in and make money somewhere, and that's where he jumps to. And that's what's really got under my skin here these past. Now, if there was a four usually, word, usually shit on the internet kind of doesn't bother me, but that fucking be? I'll spot you. It'd be a kike. <laughs> oh Jesus, is this an anti-Semitic stream? I don't know that I can do this. It's kind of an odd. Uh, it's kind of an odd area to try to branch out into, though. It's sort of like here, let me go to like internet racism and anti-Semitism for like the money. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, the internet's I, the last place you can market anti-Semitism. Well, he saw yeah. what was going on with you guys and was like, "Well, I really want to hop on that train." Yeah, we, were, we weren't. We weren't like we weren't making money back. No, then. I know. I, 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 you know, I've been I've been watching you guys for a long time, and I remember that period because that was like what maybe five weeks into Jazz doing his own kind of thing. Like it was very early on that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think FTN was pretty new back then, and it was still the election. So we were like, yeah, you know, and we were we were you know trying different things. We were we were he unfamiliar. Even sent out oven mitts at that point, I don't think, and he wanted Maybe. to hop in and get monetized on that shit. Yeah, I mean, I do, I wasn't sure if that's what he was doing or if he had some like revelation because he started going. Um, I remember he started kind of going hard on on the Jews on Twitter, and that's what got him disinvited. And Cernovich was like, you know, don't be stupid, you can't do this. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, he always just seemed like a nice guy that was just like naive and didn't really didn't really have a handle on on like exactly what it was that we were doing. I was kind of like Bake, like you know that you know that like this is like a <laughs> racist, right? Like you know that, right? like you. Did you get that? Like, I, I don't know. It always seemed like he didn't. Because he would always tell me when I, whenever I talked to him privately, he's like, you know, I like you guys, but, you know, I'm not racist. I love everybody. And I was like, all right, well, it's not like hate, but you realize we're like, this is a white thing, right? Like, we're... <laughs> I don't know if he ever you fully grasped about, that. Because we were talking before you came on about, like, Milo's first article and stuff and, like, the orbiters of what real, you know, alt-right white nationalism, whatever you want to call it is. Like, the people who try to water that down and sell it. You know, to other audiences, what do you think of those kind of people, and specifically how Baked has been doing it? I don't know. I mean, I, I I'm like surprised that people try to do this. It seems like a good way to, you know, ruin yourself. I mean, Milo, I think, um, I guess it's not even so much like alt right because that's something that kind of crystallized over the last couple of years, and that's like with with I guess that had a lot to do with me, with Spencer, with Anglin. So there's that, what is now considered the alt-right, but that's not what people were trying to get in on. People were trying to get in on, like, the 4chan, the memes, the Pepe's, the Trump stuff, like, all that, like, meme magic, like, Bake's book. I mean, come on. Like, that book was, like... What, did, he, yeah. did he really write it? I don't know if he wrote it, but I never looked at it because it looked, it looked ridiculous. It was, like, how to... There's no way he fucking wrote it, but who's screen sharing that picture? Is that speaking, of bake, right. speaking of Bake, uh, do you guys like this picture I have of him? Oh, am I missing out on something good? I'm going to very carefully open this. Yeah, don't, don't show that to the... Oh! Show this picture of Bake. <laughs> He's got a dick in his mouth. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked at this image. I could I would never have oh, guessed... Oh, shit, I'm getting hit because I'm looking at him sucking on a fucking dickus... Jesus. Is he streaming yet? Because if he's not streaming, we need to get him in here. Fuck that. Really? You didn't? He's, you probably, he's probably already in here. He's that fat. No. When he sits well, around the stream, he, he really Trump does. Like he was, he was watching us go hard on Aaron. He saw that whole thing. He knew what was up. Which... Well, he, he's he's used to seeing men go hard on her. He usually has to pay for it. <laughs> usually he's in the closet looking through a peephole, thinking, when's it going to be my turn? <laughs> so what's with this chick? Like, this seems to oh, be a oh, big let, problem. Yeah, like... let, let me tell you this, man. Let me tell you this. I, I, I think I can sum it up. I want you to picture the most fame-hungry L.A. whore that you can, mm -hmm. who's just going to show up and fucking ruin anything that a man tries to do. A white like, Yoko Ono. Yeah, I want you to picture that bitch because that's who we're talking Half about. Half Turkish, not white. Yeah, I mean, I saw I saw the stream where he was like fighting with his uh, with his Spurg chat, and um, 
she was like there, like acting like completely stupid, and I was like, this is just this is so cringe. Like this is just what well, are these people doing? She had she had JF fawning over at the end of the fucking Worski stream. So I, mean, I saw like, that doing a good I, job. I, I saw the retweet that you did uh, uh, Thundercock. Are we? All, you know, uh, shout out to shout out, shout out to uh, Chat Chat yeah, yeah, Thundercock, where he he predicted that. Like they're gonna offer this chick a job, and I was like, "What is going on?" So I tuned in to like kind of the tail end of that just to see that, and I was like, "Oh gosh." Yeah, he He's called that. He, he called that ahead of time. He's like, "Yeah, they're gonna offer a job." I thought he was just fucking around, but yeah, uh, apparently they. Yeah, asked what, to come like, back on. I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm not familiar enough. Is this like the thing they do? It's like a thing they do. They want to cash in on some check or something. I don't. I, know. I, 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 I think, don't. Know. I, I think J, JF wants to to cash in on any check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me let me give a little bit of lore. I want this. to have lots of babies with every <laughs> girl that I fuck. So, so we're doing a stream this afternoon, like this 24-hour stream on Scrub Stream, and she hopped in, and we're like, holy shit, we actually have the girl who, like, ruined Baked Alaska's life in here, this is really funny, and, you know, Scrub was not showing anything, because he'd already had somebody try to give him a strike earlier, earlier, I guess it was the day before, but it's still the same stream, and she's there, and her fucking shirt is falling out, like, for, like, 10 straight minutes, we're all just staring at her nipples, and, like, just watching her play with her tits, basically, and she's, like, trying to explain it, and it's, like, being explained to her, hey, you're fucking Tits ring. Well, she's dude, like, oh. well, and then she like pretends to cover up and they just pop right the fuck back out. Well, Joaquin, the, the, the craziest thing about <laughs> that is uh, she's only had sex with one guy. Isn't that crazy? Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. oh, God, hmm. Well, if it's a group, does it count as one? If it's like 20 at the same time? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. The they were still on one hand. Jamal. Well, the best part of that, wasn't her boyfriend in the next room while she's showing you her tits? Yeah, but the only person that came in to yell at her was her brother, so I'm pretty sure she's fucking her brother. I think that's a pimp. <laughs> I don't buy that story. So, so are you saying that she is literally the Beverly Hillbillies? Yeah. Okay. Um, Mike, She's I never thought it. I'd, uh, I, I never thought I'd be on a, a stream with you, but I, I, I only catch your, uh, your show on like when Chronos clips it. But you hit mm. on something that I had said, and I can't believe any, like no one else had ever caught it. But the fact that <laughs> JF couldn't be guilty of grooming an autistic girl because he's also autistic himself was the same thing I'd been saying. <laughs> I didn't I didn't see how that was not like like, like obvious. completely fucking obvious to everybody. <laughs> Alright, my thing on that was like, yeah, that situation like seems weird, but if two autistic people want to fuck, like I don't Right, right. What do oh, I yeah, what like, would you call that? The strange Pierre? Oh, oh no the lucky <laughs> The lucky, lucky no, the lucky Pierre. The lucky Pierre is the middle guy in a gay three-way. <laughs> Don't ask me. How, actually, no. That I I didn't even know that until a couple shows ago. You know, like, there's another term for that. It's, it's called being yourself. a shit-dicked faggot. It's a little more worry though. <laughs> no, but it's a good expression for like the guy I caught in the middle getting fucked from both ends. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, say, um, baked Alaska. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to think of a geopolitical metaphor, but that one works, I guess. <laughs> Guys, that's not possible. Anybody he's on top of becomes a pancake. <laughs> By the way, Ethan, uh, Ethan, if you're watching, you got the link in your DMs. Uh, let's just let's just make ultimate fucking anime crossover here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in terms of what I think of people that like cash in on, I, I think there was a there was a thing where like when 4chan came to the attention of of the popular consciousness around like i mean i guess it had been there but you know i mean i had been on 4chan for you know ever since it was good you know like <laughs> in like no, you 20, were never 20 on 4chan is what you're saying yeah no, no but i remember it used to be actually fun now it's just like <laughs> but um yeah like uh it there was it was a, it like came it it became this actually meme in the pot, like uh, like this really shitty meme though in like the popular consciousness. But then, like the popularizing of Pepe, the the Kekistani stuff, like that was always what what Milo was on and and Gavin too. And it seemed like that's where they they wanted to keep it there. They wanted to keep it like oh lol, it's like all edgy stuff. Like, uh, and they they would sort of disavow the edgier stuff like the gas chamber memes and whatnot. And all like the Nazi Hitler stuff, they they would be like, oh, it's it's just sarcastic. Like that's what Milo said in his Breitbart article. And um, I don't I don't know. It just seemed like he was he was trying to ride. He always ha wants to just ride this ride a wave of like something that other people created. Well, maybe he mistook it for a big penis. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, too that's soon? The, that's the kind of people that ruin it, though, man. Yeah, no, I mean, he he wanted to, like, get out in front of it as, as like, a, I don't know, like, here, I'll let me represent you to, like, the conservative establishment. I'll be, like, he'll be the lucky Pierre there, right? Like, between 4chan and, like, conservative Inc., you have Milo as the lucky Pierre. So I, I guess that's that's like where he where he wanted to be, or or not even not conservative ink, but like Breitbart, right? Um, which is like Breitbart. The beer people. Yeah, yeah. Like Breitbart has uh, you know good content sometimes, but like a lot of times it's just like boomer retardation. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just like these are. Oper- I mean, he's Jewish. He's gay. Like his personality reflects that. Like I actually went to a Milo rally one time. You probably heard me tell this story if you if you guys if some of you guys are listeners, and it was just like the most Jewish thing I've ever seen in my life. Like uh, uh, it was in it was in New York City, so of course, and it was all, but it was old people. It was like it was like older. It was like Jewish boomers. That's like Milo's fan base. That's what's funny about it. Like once he lost his Twitter, so Jewish. Yeah. yeah, and once he lost his Twitter, and once it was like, okay, like the alt right's actually like way edgier than it's, and it's not a joke. Like it, there are jokes, but it's actually not a joke. Then he's like distancing himself from it, and it turns out, wow, his fans are actually just like these old like boomer cat lady Jewish women that like love faggots. So is that how you met Halsey? No, I, I I didn't even know Halsey, man. JF and Andy like were like, yeah, we got some guy who wants to debate you, and I was like, okay. This, this is definitely... <laughs> that dude's <laughs> fucking inter- Mike, you that, off. that dude's fucking entertaining, but like, if I hear him vape into a mic one more time, I'm gonna lose my shit. Yeah, but he's he's not. <sighs> he's just like not <laughs> honest. Like he's. He's not honest, right? Like he pretends to be buddy buddy with us. I'm like, dude, you fucking hate me. Like, and then that, that all comes out, right? You know that how much how much he hates us. So it's like, all right, like let's let's be all buddy. But and then he backed out of debating Striker, which was I could just, still set that up. I mean, I, I, he's in. He my won't do store. it. He's not going to do it. He's afraid. Actually, he's afraid uh, of. He's afraid of Eric. Mike, he's, Mike, can I can I ask you a question about your debate with Halsey? Yeah, sure. Uh, like I, I've seen you in streams before. You're usually really good at like pushing past him. Why it seemed like you, it seemed like you let him lead the conversation. I kept waiting for you to like jump in there and be like, "Shut the fuck up, let me talk." Yeah, this is a common criticism. Uh, it was it was I had an off night, man. Like yeah, I'm also like um, facing a lawsuit, <laughs> and uh, you know I had done a I had done a show previously. You know I don't want to make excuses, but you're right. Like I was just I had an off night. I was taken off guard. I didn't know what I was getting into. I thought like I was going to debate the Jewish question with somebody. And I was ready to do that, and he comes right in, like every media attack, every thing about my personal life, some of it true, a lot of it distorted truth. But again, legal reasons, I can't respond to that. And I was just like, whoa, dude, right. geez, he wow. Was, he was coming doing? at you with stuff that you like legitimately couldn't respond to. Yeah, I could have said, shut the fuck up, though. Like I could have, I could have taken it over. Um, and I just didn't, you know, it was just a, it was just a weak night. I mean, that's the best I can say. What can hey, you can do? Can I give you some sound legal advice, Mike? Uh, hmm. Think about however much this might cost you in legal fees, and then, you know, think about how much a hitman would cost. Because <laughs> it can't be nearly as much. I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's not like it fucking painted Halsey in a good light anyways. Yeah, and I mean, who, like, he didn't win any fans. Right. Like it just, I just lost sight on the opportunity to wreck him. And I told JF later, I was like, "Yeah, you didn't, you know, you didn't jump in when he was doing that." And JF's like, "I was, I was waiting for you to like wreck the guy." <laughs> what can you do? I mean, it's, it's like, you know, I kept, and then I kept trying to debate. I don't know. It was just a bad night, but whatever. It's okay. I'm not like mad at the guy. I just think like, what's the point of why do we talk to this guy? Like he's. He's just a fat boomer. Like, well, yeah, I was looking forward to like a screaming match. I thought you two were gonna go at each other, and then I, I was like waiting for it. I was like, okay, well, Mike's gonna start firing back and nailing this guy, and Halsey just kind of kept like pushing it in one direction over and over and over again. Yeah, I, I don't even really remember it very well, to be honest with you. It was a, uh... yeah, it was just a bad, it was just a bad scene. I think like <clears throat> once he caught me off guard, <clears throat> it was just. That was just the end of it. I mean, if you were technically scoring that, you absolutely, you absolutely got him, especially towards the end there, where you were able to start getting him to respond on stuff. But I think that first five minutes. I mean, I was there with like a friend who I had met kind of through your thing, and we're there with fucking you know beer and pizza and just. Oh like, shit! I'm sorry, dude. Show. 
Oh, oh no, sorry. but you know, you know how it is. You get people, it's like people are like, oh, the big fight's tonight. We're going to watch it. Yeah. yeah. And, well, I'll give Halsey some credit because he's actually, uh, he's good. Credit in terms of being like slippery. He's good at um, doing a thing where he'll go hard at you and then he'll slip in between like arguing and attacking. You know what I mean? So when he gets you, he gets you sucked in. So you're arguing. And then instead of responding, he goes on the attack. Are you calling him a crap and I was, Jew? What the fuck? Well, easy with the anti-Semitism. I mean, dude, the guy's Jewish, right? Like, he's good at, hey, he's good at what he does. Being wrong, being right? anti-Semitic is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Semiticism <laughs> means Jewish supremacy, yeah. for fuck's sake. <laughs> well, we had we had the Halsey on debating our in-house uh, anti-Semi not too long ago. And, I mean, basically we got him to the point, if he agreed with everything you guys say, except he's just like, yeah, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Jewish, so I'm not going to go out and say white nationalists but i'll say i support white nationalists. well that's the other thing though is that he agreed with shit that i was expecting to fight on right so that's another way of catching somebody off guard actually do you, do you think he really agreed on that or was that no just a tactic no it's a tactic dude it was so it was transparently a tactic well i don't know because he keeps saying it like he legitimately was going up against a guy who's about on your page with stuff you know a little bit of a different angle but maybe more of a striker angle i guess you'd say and he he was agreeing with ninety percent of it. I was trying to lead through it, and it's like, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about it? And he was just agreeing it with in the points where it's like, well, you should be going after that. So even if it's a disingenuous belief, that's still what he's consistently representing. Well, it's 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 a debating tactic where you kind of throw your opponent off because they're expecting you to say I disagree, and your response is tailored to that one narrowly defined. Um, response, and then when you're thrown for a 180, you're you're now on the back foot, and you're like, "Oh crap! How do I respond to this? Or what the fuck's going on?" Yeah, okay. I mean, he got me. He got me on like agreeing with everything, and I was like, "All right, then why why are we debating?" He's like, "I'm not debating. You're a piece of shit." And I'm like, "All right, so you just want to you just want to attack me?" Well, does, like, that's that's all it is. Does does Halsey even associate with anything, or is Halsey just all about Halsey? He's got his own website, and you know he's trying to use. He's he wants to. It's not popular, right? Like it doesn't get like yeah. he gets no. There's no uh, engagement on his website. His Twitter only has a couple thousand followers, and his website is like there's no comments or anything. So it's not clear to me that there's any engagement on that. But he's trying to be like he's trying to get more play for himself, and he's, he's right. using the blood sports to do that. And well, I guess. What? My point would be it's easy for him to say, I agree with this, I agree with that, to paint himself in a good light when he has, you know, no one else to be accountable to. It's just all about making Halsey. Well, it's, it's, not, it's not just that. If he's like, you know, well, I, I'm not I'm not here to debate you. You're, you're uh, you know, whatever, you're garbage or whatever. You, you, the, the response to that should be, okay, well, we agree on the same shit. So what does that make you? Yeah, well, no, I mean, it's. I should have just said, like, take your fucking stupid sunglasses off, you fat fuck. Like, why aren't you, why, why, why are you wearing sunglasses inside like an asshole? Like, take, take them off so we can see your bug eyes, you fucking weird freak. Like, something, like, that's what I should have done. But I just didn't have it, you know, I didn't have it in me. I was just, I was, good, I was, too nice. Well, you're, I was too nice. Too, I, went, I, went, I went in too nice. Vaping. Like, you're a good boy. <laughs> yeah. That's why Stryker should debate him, because Stryker, like, is not nice, and also will not, like, he doesn't give Jews any benefit of any doubt ever, so he'll just be like, no, like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend like we're, we're buddy-buddy or chummy or anything, I'm not falling for any of that, stuff. So. It's a common Jew tactic. Yeah, no, they, they disarm you, and they, they, they catch you off guard. It's, it's, it was interesting watching it again. It was painful, but interesting to watch how he was actually very skillful at moving in between, you know, pretending to argue and attacking and not responding. Like, after I made, like, a long point and being like, now, respond. And then he would just be like, yeah, you're a fucking piece of shit. And I'd be like, all right, like... Oh, so uh, he's, always, that's why he's always got the vape in his mouth. He's just trying uh, to <laughs> Uh, can I take a second to uh, welcome to the anti-Semite stream uh, the proprietor of the Ralph Retort? Thank you for joining us because we talk about how much we hate Jews. Uh, let's go. What's going on yeah. there, fucking Ralph? How you doing? Looks like yeah. I joined at just the right time, yeah. Uh, we don't hate you, guys we just prefer the blood of our unbaptized children <laughs> remain intact, you know? We just, we just yeah. prefer our foreskins remain intact. Yeah, I was just uh, perusing Twitter and saw Baked sucking on some dildo. Uh, I thought that that was... Uh, he just oh, was interesting. Ralph, can I ask you a question? Because uh, sure. Baked, Baked said some really weird shit today. He was like, oh, you're doxing the guy. You're doxing the guy. 
That mm -hmm. that dude's uh, the meth head. That I mean, that's all public record shit, right? Yeah, I mean, that's from a like his local town newspaper or some shit that uh, somebody tagged me with it on Twitter. I mean, look, if you get on stream and you're talking about pedophile shit and just acting like a complete spurg and then somebody finds the article where you got busted with meth and literally it's not even i mean come on being a meth is bad enough but he he asked the police to pick up his meth for him and that's actually how he got arrested <laughs> like what the fuck I, it's it's pretty bad and then uh yeah i think i brought it up earlier in the stream but i saw you saw it later on where his dad uh i, th I think him and his dad co-wrote a book about raising raising a uh, autistic as fuck. Oh, I, I laughed so fucking hard when I saw that. The puzzle pieces and, you know, let's talk about autism shit. And my, the chasing unreal. the rabbit is the best That's part. The title is amazing. <laughs> <It's so laughs> never be and important to fucking remember, too, that thing has like 190 customer reviews, five starred, and Joaquin, didn't you say it was on the autism awareness website? I said website? Me, but someone it's said that, yeah. It's on yeah. the autism it's awareness It's also ranked website. 460th in its genre. <laughs> I gotta look Shit. up later to see if my shitty books are outselling it. Good <laughs> God. I don't know, so, but just the whole definition of doxing is just getting, I mean... Dude, you can literally look up his boss, and you find that there's retweets of him and his dad and his boss right <laughs> on his boss's Twitter. And he said who he worked with on the stream. And then dude, you dude. click his dad's page, and his dad's page is literally a bio where he pitches his own book on YouTube <laughs> and on Twitter about talking about how retarded his kid is. His you know mom's a fucking state senator in Maine. He's got the proof. Look how retarded this kid really is. <laughs> you just book. got... This, this, <laughs> this, did, you see, this is, did you see uh, Mike's reaction when he said that? You got his fucking attention with that. <laughs> <laughs> this this is the kind of person... You know how the, you know how some of the uh, the cop Twitters will do like just a joke thing where it's like, oh, this shipment of meth was tainted, so bring it by the police station and we'll, we'll check it for you. <laughs> this is the same guy. that This is the kind of person that they are literally going after, and he's dumb enough that he'd fucking fall for it. Hey, uh, is anybody selling some drugs tonight? I swear I'm not a cop. <laughs> hey, fellow teenagers. Wait, 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 wait. If you're a cop, you've got to tell me, right? Yeah. A myth. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. a that's a quote from Karl Marx, actually. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a cop, you have to tell me that you're a cop. Uh, uh Ralph is is his mom like she's a current serving one? This yeah, yeah, bad. not state senator, but she's in the uh, House of Representatives in Maine, Republican. Yeah. What she representing yeah, retards or something? <sighs> yeah, she's actually a politician. So so is not a Democrat. Is, they love their little retarded victims. Is look, the theory here there's... that this like autism thing is just bullshit? Like they're just cashing in on like autism. Yeah. Dude, Girl, even his sister right. does a TED talk about yeah. how much of a retarded. <laughs> yeah. well, well, I don't know if you you were you watching the Worski stream, uh, Mike. I saw the part where JF gave a negative diagnosis on the autism. Uh, well, when he played that video, that's like. I've I've worked around a lot of autistic people, and that dude does not act autistic in the fucking least bit. No. Yeah, no. There's too much um to do humor, uh, and that kind of humor. It's you have to be able to understand. He else. could be just mimicking what he thinks humor is, and that's why he's so over the top because he doesn't really know what the limit is. He seems more like a he seems more like a manic personality than an autistic yeah. one. I, I would agree with that, man. Like, I mean, he could be high functioning. That's that's probably what he would say. He's a high functioning autist. I get a high because yeah, he's on meth. Yes! There's literally a video. He seems like a dude about. that's just fucking wired, man. Like just tweaked out. Like that's yeah. like he doesn't look like somebody that's Wait, high hang on. Are we still talking about? Like, uh, are we talking about Baked or the other guy? <laughs> We're talking about Chaggett. Okay. Bakes Bakes too dumb to be autistic. Well, look, she's got the autistic blanket. <laughs> so a fan sent me an autis autism awareness blanket. <laughs> you should drape that around like Bakes so he can get out of here without being burned yeah. anymore. Re Regift it to Bakes. Mike, I saw a thread on the chans with like you holding up that blanket, and they were like using it as evidence that you're autistic. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> that's like the that's like the least bad thing the chans have ever said about me. Yeah, well, I'm sure you're familiar <laughs> with Morpheus and motherfucker. Oh, that is that's uh is that is that Lazia or is that somebody else? It's I heard, somebody, I heard it's that somebody it was with Lazia. the whole group. I, I mean, going back to when your shit came out, he's one of the guys. I've seen him around a minute, you know. Yeah, I don't. I I, ha, I don't think I had that guy muted on Twitter. He used to DM me constantly, like you still time to get me on your side, and I was like, the "Fuck do I care, bro?" I have time to get you on your my side, but I don't have the patience for it. I just yet. don't give You're a shit. Dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> 
No, you gotta like, you gotta like, uh, really just stop caring about shit like that. Like, I used to care a lot about it, and it, it leads you in bad directions if you let, um, caring about, like, what people that hate you say about you. You're just gonna, it's never gonna go in the right direction. So my advice to any content creators is don't, don't read your comments. You're, you're never, you're never gonna meet most of these people in real life. Why well, give a fuck at that point? My fans are so nice. Your fans must be fucking assholes. I would well, read the our comments. Fans are great, great but our fans are great, but we have like a large contingent of haters just because, you know, we got relatively big in this space and uh it's a well known you know, so there's just people that fucking hate it. I just have one little guy. I only can I mean not to take a shot at you, but the way that the way that things happened, like when you and you and Jesse and everybody got fucked up. You know, it, there was there was some genuinely bad blood as as that kind of stuff happened. You know, and I get I get that you guys were in a tough position and stuff, but people felt somewhat betrayed. At least some people did. Yeah, no, I I get that, and we um, it's just like you never, you know, it was a tough situation. I mean, there's things I le legitimately can't talk about with that, but um, it was just a, a very odd and strange situation, and there's kind of like I was like getting hit from all angles uh and it was just a very weird time um but uh i don't know yeah no i understand that but that's all kind of been water under the bridge yeah that's that's that, i mean i don't want to say it's ancient history but it's kind of back there but you also decided not you didn't decide to do a live stream with like six random people you met in a west la bar you know and show no. everybody hey i'm getting i'm getting doxxed right now everybody let's fucking do some oh hey zoom uh, send sebastian an invite he's in the chat uh okay if we got room, if, uh, if I not, actually, I'll drop out to make room if you want. No, no, actually, I, I've got a jet. <laughs> uh, I've got to go, so I'll pop out and you can bring him in. Oh, thanks Bye, Billy. Bye, man. Uh, yeah, good to yeah, talk yeah, fun time. Enjoyed watching the uh, the gameplay. Uh, it's good stuff. <laughs> it's, good, it's good stuff. That's what I come for. Uh, but yeah, take it easy, guys. All right, All right, have, a good right, yeah. have a good night, man. He was just waiting like a hawk for that excuse to peace out. <laughs> Get me away from these artists, God! Well, I think he was hoping we'd get act we'd actually get baked on here. I just where the hell is baked? He's not streaming, is he? I haven't seen anybody. I've been waiting. That he was gonna stream like Look, two hours he, ago. He, he is digging into a pint of Hagen Dazs right now. He just cannot contain. For all we know, he's Wait, getting a dust. Is Hagen Dazs some gay German guys? <laughs>